Hey, this is Trout Fit and Tips. Thanks for joining me. I'd like to talk about how I store the rod. How I, I like to break the rod down in two. Um, not just for storage inside the vehicle, but also for walking through these woods without getting snagged up. This is something my uncle showed me a lot of years ago. Now, like a lot of people, I started out fishing with a spinning rod. Spinning rods are a lot shorter than a fly rod, of course. I was probably fishing a five and a half, six, six and a half foot rod at the longest. I remember when I got my first fly rod, I think it was eight and a half feet, and I thought, that's a really long rod. So I just like to break it down in two, and there's a really good way to do it uh, that looks a little complicated, but it's not, and I'll, I'll show you. So I have the leader and the fly, everything's, uh, everything's still on there. I'm not gonna take the fly off. I have the fly on the hook keeper. You could put it up here on one of the guides. All right, so I'm gonna grab in the middle. I'm gonna separate. And now I'm gonna slide this down. Again, it looks like you have a whole bunch of lines. How's that ever, you know, gonna all go together without uh, hanging up on itself. But there you go. And then what I like to do is take a hair tie and tie it up, which I'll show you there in a minute. When I put it back together, it's really just about this easy. Just wanna make sure the line uh, is not gonna wrap around the rod at any point. So that's taking it apart, that's putting it back together. Um, I'll do it again. Okay, so the important thing is to get your hand underneath uh, all the line, um, hands underneath, and then of course pull apart. Now I'm gonna slide everything down, kind of keep the rod tip low at this point. And I have a lot of slack right there, but let's just reel it up. Everything's gonna come through the guides. Mm, it looks snug, and you can see everything's together. I really, I have a I have line going up and back, up and back, but that's all right. Nothing's tangled up, nothing's snagged up. And usually, again, I'm gonna bind it with an old rag or I use my wife's hair tie. So putting it back together, it's just about as simple. You wanna be right up here, get those sections pushed together. Of course, the important thing is, I still have my hand underneath everything. Of course, push it together, nice and snug. You wanna make sure this isn't wrapped. So it isn't, we're in good shape. And then you're gonna have to, <laughs> Let a little bit of line out, let the tension off, and you're back together. All right, so I'll break it down one more time, and I'll show you the hair tie trick. Again, I'm just keeping that rod tip low right now, and then let the reel kind of bring everything together, brings the tip up. All right, now instead of walking through the woods over there, you know, uh, with things kind of flopping around, I come in right here. Now above the, above the brakes in the sections, of course there's a four piece rod, so I have the ferrules there and the ferrules there. And I'm gonna take this hair tie. Again, you can take a rag, whatever works for you. But I come and bind things together this way. That goes around once. This is really not a knot, it's just held by the tension of the elastic. And I'm done. And really to undo this is pretty simple. I'm just gonna pull that first loop out, and now the second loop comes out. So that's how I do it. I mean, I just find it a lot easier to walk through the woods this way. Um, it takes 30 seconds, maybe, to put it together. And then, I, you know what I mean, you're going through the woods, you're gonna hang up this way. It doesn't matter if you have the rod tip in front or in back, you're always hanging up. If you keep the rod strung up this way, uh, it's a lot simpler to me. Hope that works for you.